Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV and today we're going to talk about a great movie, a fantastic movie, and yes I'm talking about the movie Jaws. I can remember sitting in the theater watching this and just being terrified, being terrified to take a bath the next day. Sure maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but my grandkids now sing songs, happy songs about sharks, you know, shark, uh, baby shark, all that crap. Whereas I was terrified as a child, that's how times have changed. Joss was inspired by a real shark in 1916 in New Jersey. Residents engaged in active warfare with a shark that killed four people. So there you go, it's based on a true story. The casting for the movie took months. Spielberg recalls the stress of casting the movie, three main parts. It took six months to cast Quint. Spielberg reveals admitting that he had been turned down by Lee Marvin and Sterling Hayden before producers suggested an actor finally got the part was Robert Shaw. Now, can you imagine Robert Shaw not being in that part? I mean, Lee Marvin, great actor, but it just works so well with Robert Shaw. The film went way over schedule and budget. Between mechanical sharks sinking to the bottom of the ocean, boats flooding mid-scene, Jaws seemingly endless production woes ate into film production schedule and budget. To the point where some cast members and crew and executive teams thought the movie would ruin their careers. I guess it didn't. It turned out to be pretty good, huh? Robert Shaw and Richard Dreyfuss hated each other. Much like the characters they played, actor Robert Shaw and Richard Dreyfuss did not get along during much of the shooting of Jaws. In fact, Shaw often taunted Dreyfuss in between takes. What caused the feud, according to co-star Roy Schreider, Shaw, a legendary theater actor, initially took issue with Dreyfuss' pompous attitude about filming a movie. Robert Shaw really thought Dreyfus needed a slapping down, that he was a young punk with no stage experience. So there you go. They didn't like each other. The film's most famous line was ad lib. You're going to need a bigger boat, said Roy Schreider's character, Brody, after Brody catches the sight of the shark for the first time. Ironically, the line was a result of a running joke that had been going on for some time during production. Spielberg was angry about being snubbed for an Oscar. Given all the financial and critical success of Jaws when the awards season rolled around, Spielberg was so convinced he was going to get nominated for an Oscar that he hired a camera crew to actually film him watching the nomination on television. I, you know, I gotta agree, it's a fantastic film, still holds up today. He got robbed in my opinion. There's not a lot of Jaws in Jaws. The shark doesn't fully appear in a shot until 1 hour and 21 minutes into the 2 hour film. The reason it isn't shown is because the mechanical shark that was built rarely worked during filming, so Spielberg had to be creative in different ways how he shot the film. i got to tell you, I think it works. I think it works without seeing the shark. Um, at least for me, I thought, I thought it was fantastic. Roy Schreider landed the lead role in Jaws with a little bit of eavesdropping. Schreider got the part of Brody after overhearing Spielberg talking to a friend at a Hollywood party about the scene where the shark leaps out of the water and onto Quint's boat. Schreider was instantly enthralled and asked Spielberg if he could be in the film. Spielberg loved Roy from the French Connection and later offered the actor the part. Richard Dreyfuss wasn't the first choice to play Hooper. Spielberg initially approached John Voight, Timothy Buttons, and Jeff Bridges to play oceanographer Matt Hooper. When none of them could commit to the role, Spielberg's friend George Lucas suggested Dreyfuss, whom Lucas had directed American Graffiti. So there you go! Sometimes just luck. Gregory Peck forced a scene to be cut from the movie Jaws. In the early drafts of the screenplay, Quint was originally introduced while causing disturbance in a movie theater while watching John Huston's 1958 adaption of Moby Dick. The scene was shot, but actor Gregory Peck, who plays Captain Ahab in the movie, owned the rights to the film version of Moby Dick and wouldn't let the filmmakers on Jaws use the footage, so the sequence was cut. Steven Spielberg didn't direct some of Jaws' final scenes. Spielberg didn't direct the shot of the shark exploding. In fact, he had already returned to Los Angeles to begin post-production on the film after the film's grueling schedule and left the shot up to production's second unit. Well, there you go. That's, that's why he didn't get the Academy Award nomination. He's slacking there, Steven. There you go. There's some facts about Jaws you might have known, you may not have known. If there's something I left out that you think is interesting, put it in the comment section. We'll talk about it. If you haven't seen Jaws, shame on you. It's a classic movie. It still holds up today, and it's one of my top ten movies of all time. I watch it at least once a year, sometimes twice a year. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell a friend. All that fun stuff. Share the video. I'm out. Bye, everybody.